Welcome back to Pashu, South Korea. We're standing just a few feet from the DMZ, the de demilitarized zone, where the president met with Kim Jong-un on Sunday. Back in the United States, the president just kicked off his re-election campaign with the slogan, Keep America Great. Great or not, though, America still has quite a few problems. Homelessness is a huge one, so is the opioid epidemic, and big tech and its strangulation of some of our most basic freedoms. The president will have to address those problems if he wants to win re-election, and we asked him about all of them in part two of our interview. Here it is. Google, by some measures, the most powerful company in the world. All information flows through it. They're against you. They don't want you reelected. Can you get reelected if Google's against you? So, you know, I've been hearing that about Google and Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, that's okay. right. I won. They were totally against me. I won. Uh, Hillary but they Clinton, didn't think you were going to win. Well, they fought me very hard. I mean, I heard that, and they're fighting me hard right now, which is incredible because I think the Democrats want to shut them up, and frankly, so do a lot of the Republicans want to shut them up. Uh, if you look at Twitter, I have millions and millions of people on Twitter, and it's, you know, it's a very good arm for me. It's great social media, but they don't treat me right. And I know for a fact, I mean, a lot of people try and follow me, and it's very hard. I have so many people come up, they say, sir, it's so hard. They make it hard to follow. What they're doing is wrong and possibly illegal, and a lot of things are being looked at right now. But you're right, Google is very powerful, but I won. And a poll just came out today, I'm at 54 or 55, and they do say you can add 10 to whatever poll I have, okay? And I never get good press. I mean, I haven't had a good story. I used to get the best press in the world. You remember the old days when I was an entrepreneur. I used to get great press. Now I get, uh, because of what I stand for, represent, uh, and nobody's ever had, I think, 93%. It came out the other day, 93%. And I'm talking about stories that should be good, they make them bad, or should be great, they make them, like, neutral. And yet I won, and I'll win again. So when they say it's the most powerful, it may be, but... They were against me. Facebook was against me. They were all against me. Twitter was against me. Twitter is... I've, I've been very good for Twitter. I don't think Twitter would be the same without what I do on Twitter. But they just have this crazy disposition. They have this philosophy. And yet, the Democrats are very much opposed to them in so many ways. It's sort of an amazing thing. So you just said that what the tech companies are doing may be illegal. Is there a role for the Justice Department... Well, they could out. be, and I, I don't want to even say whether or not they're doing something, but I yeah. will tell you, there are a lot of people that want us to, and uh, there are a lot of people, all you have to do is pick up a newspaper and read it, or see it, or watch Fox, or watch some other network. Uh, there are a lot of people that want us to take action against uh, Facebook, and against Twitter, and frankly, against Amazon. Yep. Amazon also. Uh, a lot of people want us to take action. Are you going to? I can't say that, Tucker. That I can't say. You come to where we are now, Osaka or Tokyo, and the cities are clean. There's no graffiti, no one going to the bathroom on the street, you don't see junkies. It's very nice, isn't it? Very different from our cities. Yep. Well, is, no, some of our cities Some are of right, our cities. But, but New York City, but, San Francisco, Los Angeles, they, they've got a major problem with... It's very sad. ...with filth. Very sad. Why is that? Uh, it's a phenomenon that started two years ago. It's disgraceful. I'm going to maybe... And I'm looking at it very seriously. We're doing some other things, as you probably noticed, like some of the very important things that we're doing now. But we're looking at it very seriously because you can't do that. You can't have what's happening where police officers are getting sick just by walking the beat. I mean, they're getting actually very sick. Uh, where people are getting sick, where the people living there are living in hell, too. Although some of them have mental problems where they don't even know they're living that way. In fact, perhaps they like living that way. Uh, they can't do that. You, we cannot ruin our cities. And you have people that work in those cities. They work in office buildings, and to get into the building, they have to walk through a scene that nobody would have believed possible three years ago. And this is the liberal establishment. This is what I'm fighting. They, I don't know if they're afraid of votes. I don't know if they really believe that this should be taking place. But it's a terrible thing that's taking place. And we may be... You know, I had a situation when I first became president. We had certain areas of Washington, D.C., where that was starting to happen. And I ended it very quickly. I said, you can't do that. When we have leaders of the world coming in to see the president of the United States and they're riding down a highway, they can't be looking at that. I really believe that it hurts our country. They can't be looking at scenes like you see in Los Angeles and San Francisco. San Francisco, 
I own property in San Francisco, so I don't care, except it was so beautiful. And now areas that you used to think as being, you know, really something very special, you take a look at what's going on with San Francisco, it's terrible. So uh, we're looking at it very seriously. We may intercede. We may uh, do something to uh, get that whole thing cleaned up. It's inappropriate. Now, we have to take the people and do something. We have to do something. Right. And, you know, we're really not very equipped as a government to be doing that kind of work. That's not really the kind of work that the government probably should be doing. We've never had this in our lives before in our country. And it's not only those few cities, it's a couple of other no, it's cities. A lot also. Of cities. So At the same time, most of our cities are doing great. But if you look at some of these, they're usually sanctuary cities yeah. run by very liberal people, and the states are run by very liberal people. But the thing that nobody can figure out is do these governors or mayors, do they really think this is a positive? Do they really think this is okay? Because it's not, it's destroying their city. And it's destroying a whole way of life. And it's not our country. It's not what our country is all about. We have still more of that interview with the president. We asked him later in that hour about UFOs. We'll tell you what he said Friday during a special edition of this show.